It's science day. Time to do another yeah. experiment. Are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. So by the way, welcome to Creating Community. My name is Kim and this is Hope. Hope. Let's do this. For today's fun, we need some white vinegar or any vinegar for that matter, some sodium bicarbonate, a funnel, a little trusty shovel, <laughs> <laughs> and a, a balloon! A balloon! And a bottle! And here in the state of New York, there are deposits on bottles, so it kind of broke my heart to have to peel that off there. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be keeping this bottle, just saying. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna move this down so y'all can see what we're doing. Ready? Yeah. Let's do okay, it. Okay, so the first thing it says that we need to do is pour a little vinegar into this bottle until it's about one fourth of its volume. So, yeah. Guess what I should have done first? I should have opened the vinegar bottle first. Yeah, you should have. I should have. But do I ever do things the right way? No. Not usually. <laughs> All right, so about one fourth of the way, we're gonna fill up this bottle with some vinegar. Maybe a little more. All right, so that looks about a fourth of the way. Maybe, maybe it's a third of the way, whatever. Okay, so here's our vinegar. Then it says the next thing we're going to do is we are going to fill this balloon, our little trusty balloon. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna use our funnel for. We're gonna put the funnel inside of there. So what I'm gonna have you do, Hope, for me. Let's move okay. this out of the way. I'm gonna have you hold this. Yeah. And it says that I need to put three spatulas of sodium bicarbonate into the balloon. If I can get this open. All right. Let's do this. I already forgot what I said. Three spatulas. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Y'all <laughs> sure you want to watch this? You know what? I sh it should be entertaining. It should. All right. Come on. Hold it. Hold it up. One. as I spill some on Hope's hand. <laughs> it's a good thing that I have a glove on. Three. All right, then. Attach the balloon's opening to the bottle's opening and be careful not to let any of the sodium bicarbonate fall into the bottle. They don't know what they're asking of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. So what I'm gonna have you do, you kind of hold on to this end. Hold on to this end of the jobby. While I try to stretch. What is a jobby? No, just hold on. Hold on. All right, so now it says, lift the balloon and let the sodium bicarbonate fall. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me raise up this just a little bit so y'all don't miss all the fun. That should do it. So it says, lift the balloon and let the sodium bicarbonate fall into the balloon all at once. Observe how the carbon dioxide fills the balloon. All right, so you're gonna let it fall in all at once. Lift it up and pour it all in all at one time. Let it go. Ow. Whoa! Here it goes. Watch out that it doesn't pop. Miss Sandy had that happen in Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> really? She did? Well. It popped out her. So, the reaction between the sodium bicarbonate with an acid produces carbon dioxide. It is this gas that allows the filling of the balloon. If you try changing the concentration of both chemicals, you will see that the much greater they are, there will be more production of gas. How cool. Yeah. Well, y'all, that was fun. What do you think? Pretty I cool. like it. You like I it? I take right? it off so that it doesn't she, pop. She's a fear. <laughs> Are you a fear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That's our fun little science experiment for today. Yeah. Carbon dioxide made from what? Vinegar and what? Baking so soda. <laughs> pretty much. Sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Very good.